Okay, it has been a while since I've been able to get back to do these videos, and I do plan on making sure that there are as many videos available this month as there are days in the month. All right, so to continue with this uh, video every day for the month of February, of course, I took a two-week break because uh, of an illness, uh, we're going to look at exporting stems without effects and making sure that the tracks are balanced for the person receiving the stems. This is a step that gets missed ev almost every time with people, you know, and when they get the stems, they feel that, they feel that the... Uh, that with the effects still on the stems, the song is pretty much mixed and they can't make corrections. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are in uh, a song that I have called Forgiveness. And you guys have heard this song before, so I'm not going to play any of it. But here are the stems that I have. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a shorter mixer. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. And I'm going to close the browser. And I'm going to close the inspector so that we can really see what's happening. Oh, it is closed. Okay, good. I'm just going to go ahead and do an overview. Okay, so here are all of our stems. You can see that some of the stems are of different levels and things like that. So the first thing that we want to do, if we are going to export stems to have somebody else mix the song, first thing we want to do is shut off all of the effects. Now, how can we do that? All right, there's two ways to do this. The first way is to go right here to this little button. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom and I'm going to go right here. And if I hold the mouse over it, activate all inserts. Okay. So now I have deactivated all of the inserts. So now let's go back. And now let's check it out. So let's go ahead with the tall view of the mixer. There we go. And you can see that all of the inserts have been deactivated. Just like that. If I turn them on again, boom, there we go. We can see that the uh, tracks that have inserts, all of the blue dots have come back on. Off. Uh, now I have this chorus actually off already. So the good thing is, is it doesn't change the condition of this. So here we go. I have actually turned off all of my effects. Now the one thing I didn't test, and I'm going to do that now, is sends. Okay, so let's see. Do the sends get turned off too? Yes, they do. So even the sends get turned off. Okay, so you know that all of your effects are off. Let me see if I can balance this out. Watch this. You can see how all the sends are different levels. If you hold the control key. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'm on a Mac. I keep forgetting. If I hit the command button, and there we go. They snap all together. On a PC, it's the control key. All right, so <laughs> not to digress here. All right, so there we go. All of our effects are off. But see, that's not the only thing that you have to do. A lot of people say, okay, all of my effects are off. I can export all my tracks. All right, let's check the main outs. Okay, there we go. Even the stuff on the main outs are off. So nothing is being mastered or processed here either. Good. But here's the thing. If you don't reset all of your faders to zero. You are actually going to send the stems out with the balance you have chosen here for your mix. So how do you do this? All right, so if you've got the HST toolbar, there is a fader reset. Boom, boom, there we go. So now everything is at zero. If you don't have my toolbar here for those resets, you can either just manually move them until you get to zero. And I think on a Mac, it's control click. Nope. It's got to be command click. Command click. There we go. Command click. And I think on a PC, it's control. I don't have my PC uh, hooked up right now. But you can use those shortcuts to actually reset your faders. Let me do that again. I'm going to hit the command key and go bang, 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 just like that. There you go. Or, like I said, oh, and we got the pans. Almost forgot the pans. So you can do the same thing. You can use the control or the command key, or you can just use my pan reset if you have the HST power toolbar. Okay, so now all of the volumes are reset to zero. In fact, where I started, nothing has been gain staged. You don't have to gain stage as long as you're not clipping. Let's see here. 
Let me turn this down and see if I'm... There we go. Okay, so we're not clipping, so I think we're pretty good. You would actually have to play the whole song to make sure it's not clipping, but for the most part, I think you guys get the point. Okay, so now, <laughs> here is the easy part. You go, I see, is it song, export, stems? There we go. I've got a button here, so sometimes I forget. And you want to choose tracks. So these are just the tracks. If you use channels, it'll actually export a version of the whatever buses you have created. And since we've actually zeroed out all of our effects on our buses, we don't need that. So we can go tracks and you export all of these and you go ahead and you can say, you'll see, select all, go through, figure out your locations. And, oh, here's something I didn't actually check. You can either do it between the loop or between the start and end marker. Let me actually turn this, uh, cancel this for right now. And make sure I have a start and an end marker. I do. Also, for the loop zone, if I want to, I can actually do a loop zone range as well. You don't have to do this, but, you know, because you're going to be able to choose. There we go. All right. Let's do this again. Let's go here. Let's use the button I've created. Stems. Boom. Opens up the same box. There we go. We have all of our uh, tracks selected, and we're actually going to go ahead and use the start and end markers, and then you hit OK. So make sure that you choose the location that you want the uh, stems to go to. Make sure it's in a folder, and you can zip up that folder and send it out. So this would be in a case if you were working with someone with Pro Tools or Logic or something like that, and they can't they don't have any of your effects and everything. So in the next couple of videos, I will actually start showing you how to export with an, uh, for another uh, Studio One user. Um, or you can actually do this with another Studio One user and really let them start from scratch. So that should take care of it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video.